Today's a big day and I have been very excited to record this video. One, to show you how you've been getting on. But we play Chelsea and Tottenham. And those teams, well, they're not in the championship. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to Saving Derby County Strikerless Edition. As I've, I'm so excited to make this video. I'm sorry it wasn't one yesterday. So excited I didn't do one yesterday. Uh, the showdown weekends are long, and I still managed to get videos out last week, but yeah, my throat is feeling a little tender, so I thought I'd save it for a few more hours and get the video out today instead. So, hi, everyone. Welcome back. We've had... A very interesting time. We don't... Clean sheets are not a thing. So, welcome back. As you can see there, Derby, after six games, sit in fourth position in the league table. And as I say, Chelsea and Tottenham to come today. Then only in 2023, so all the squads are pretty similar to what you know them to be. 12 goals conceded. That's more than West Ham, who currently find themselves in the relegation zone. But 16 goals scored, and that is, that is more than anyone else uh, outside of the top six. Top four, even. So... Quite an impressive start for the Derby boys, but as mentioned, oh, actually, we did have a clean sheet against Leeds. I'll take it all back. Um, since our last outing, then the 5 3 and the 1 1 against Norwich and Fulham, a 3 4 defeat to uh, to Aston Villa. Wilfred Tahar got himself a hat trick. It was it was 3 0 after 28 minutes, and I panicked a little bit. It wasn't good. Early goals. The system is not set up for kickoffs. The showdown taught me that this weekend. Uh, 1 1 draw against West Ham, rescued in the 94th minute by Adam Armstrong, but we'll take the point all day long, especially away at West West Ham. Good home uh, home win against Leeds United. 2-0. Uh, excellent Marvin from a corner. And Dean Garner again late on. Found a little bit of a breakaway. A good victory as, as well against Sheffield. Sorry, against Sheffield. Against Crystal Palace, I should say. Getting ahead of myself against Crystal Palace. Uh, Will Hughes scored an own goal. I've got to show you the own goal. I mean, against his former team, I'm not sure how he did it. The thing is, it's quite a good finish. Like, you can't, it's hard to be annoyed about it, but it's so funny, basically. We'll just um, we'll just cast our eyes on it. There's Will Hughes there. It's just so firmly hit from 25... Whatever. It's, it's a goal. Uh, we still won, though, scraping through a little bit against Wilfred Tahar's old team. And then a 4-3 victory against uh, Sheffield United, where they were in it for a long time, it felt like. Uh, they were 3-1 up, and we wrestled it back to win 4-3. Chukwameka scoring goals. Oh, steady on. Now, the big thing I wanted to show you, one of the reasons I've been so excited to show you uh, this in the video so far, Christian Eriksen is at City, and Lewandowski is top goal scorer. Okay, this is the, the Premier League is a little different and tell what it is right now um it was that there's a team detailed stat that i want to show you and i think we can agree i've not played any of the big boys yet they are to come and this video is massively uh well what are the, what's it what's this like against good teams let's find out but let me find the chance creation section and look at that derby county so far in their six premier league games have got an equal amount of chances created as manchester city so the case for survival is looking pretty good but how far can this go? Well, today we're going to find out. Chelsea and Tottenham to come then. Team-wise, it's all quite straightforward. There were no more transfers made. I would love to be like, wow, look what we did. But actually, nothing else really happened for us. Um, and we're trying to figure out our best 11 at the moment. We're going with this for now. Uh, Rayer in goal. Bulldog comes in ahead of Nathan Van. No, don't be silly. Nathan Byrne comes back in. We didn't start him in the last game and we were, we were stumbling. Nathan Byrne back in there, of course. Excellent Marvin and Alex at the back so someone have to pan on um the Lukaku on the other side of course Bielic to play behind Chukwameka Lawrence and Will Hughes at the moment again they've got a few options in there but Will Hughes despite his, his own goal scoring ability has been pretty strong for me Loftus-Cheek hasn't really started that well um Wilfred Zaha I like to share either side Zaha is putting in the exact type of system I was expecting from Wilfred Zaha in that sometimes you get an 8.4 or a 9.2 and sometimes you deal with him not being in the game at all so what was Wilfred Zaha will we get today well it's gonna it's be time to find out away at Stamford Bridge there's two options, I feel like. Either we win 5-7. You can't win 5-7. I guess if they score 5, we could score 7. Or uh, we lose 5-0. I don't know. I really don't know. This is going to be a good experiment. This is the first time. Like, we didn't really play teams in cup games that are of this level. 
Oh, just seen that. Dabala's in there now. Is he with Jeremy Pino? That looks fair. Um, yeah, Dabala, Havertz, Kante, Nuno Mendes there as well. Reese James. They're going to be playing that three at the back. I imagine Tuchel is in charge. Lukaku's still there as well. So again, not realistic to real life. He definitely won't be there in 2023 unless something crazy happens. Maybe they'll sell him and sign him again. That seems like the most likely outcome. As uh, there they are then, playing that three at the back system. John Terry's the manager. Sorry. It's not Thomas Tuchel at all. John Terry is manager. Oh, Wayne will hate that. Okay. Right. Into this we go then. Uh, chair, a little bit more creative than Dean Garner. Maybe not as quick. Again, options off the bench could be crucial for us today as uh, there's an early chance two and a half minutes in. Don't concede from a corner. Excellent Marvin gets it away. And that's now a chance for Chelsea to continue to push forward. Jeremy Pino off the post that was scary we clear the ball as far as reese james that was horrifying they've got another corner very very quickly the ball now on the other side floats one in excellent marvin again i why have i not got this set i don't have i don't have players forward at corners i keep forgetting how do i keep forgetting it's been a long time obviously what what it's allowing is teams to come straight back at us and not us not putting pressure it also this is the bigger point really allows chelsea to think We'll just throw another player forward then. We don't have to worry about it. If I can see the goal because of it, there's Lukaku. That would have been that would have been really bad. All right, goal kick. Can we build something from the back? So far, we've not seen ourselves have a meaningful attack, but maybe this is the moment. There's Wilfred Zaha on the ball. This is the type of game. We talked about his form. We need him to step up as he runs into Chalabert and he goes all the way back to Mendy. Now, ideally, we want defenders and goalkeepers to launch the ball forward and have our attacking players challenge in the air. Now, when... One of those players that on the offensive side is Romelu Lukaku. You don't want that quite so much. But we do have the ball right now. I realise this is a Lukaku derby. We've both got a Lukaku. Brothers, of course, as well. Ours is in right now. Jordan Lukaku. Oh, really good run. We're only five minutes in here, but that was a, that was a chance. All right, away from home. There's not too much to lose here, right? Playing positively the midfield. If we can turn Kante and Havertz, which is a funny thing to say with your derby manager, that's quite exciting. Nuno Endes has gone off for Dar uh, for Chelsea, and they put on Ben Chilwell. That's that's strength in depth there, viewers. Um, something I don't have nearly as much of. Right, there's Burn on the ball, and we know how good he can be. That little bit of extra pace does make him a bit more favourable to Bulldog as Chukwemeka is in. He's in goal scoring form. I think he might be going wide, but Mendy puts it behind anyway for a corner. Half an hour gone, and we're still relatively competitive. As uh, Tom Lawrence to play this corner into the front post. Marvin was there, didn't jump, which is a bit annoying. And uh, we do get the ball back, though, from a large Chelsea clearance. So far, so good for the boys, though. And we're not being pushed far back. Like, that was going to be my big worry, actually. I think they're playing a five probably plays into our hands a little bit i know what people think maybe a five at the back system is a problem but those inverted wing backs tend to isolate a few players and it doesn't make it quite so bad that's the whole reason we went to inverted wing backs to begin with and then we find out how it worked well against teams before as well as uh, some lovely play from us here will hughes plays him off for zahar this could be his moment oh i don't know viewers i feel like the xg on that must be high he's got to score there surely mendy with a good save chair to put in the corner again we're looking for that front post alex and an excellent marvin are lurking as we could here get to half this is really good for us i kind of want to praise them as they nearly had a corner there because it's been a good half like we have, we're not leading but how can i be disappointed with that that's really strong injuries are getting picked up as well for chelsea it's going to force them into some changes they're going to bring on mason mount aren't they or kovacic or conor gallagher that's nowhere near as fun um but heat map wise right now I don't know what you're expecting to see, really. I realise I'm in the way a little bit. Uh, let's just move me. I'll just use a stream thing so you can just see the heat maps briefly because these are important, right? So when we're getting like pressed by teams, when we're getting pushed back, we will very much be in our own half and it's ugly, right? But when any of our players are in the opposition half, that always suggests it's going quite well, right? It sounds obvious, right? You're pushed up more. You're not being dominated as much. But sometimes you can be losing a game and it still happens and you feel okay with that. But the important thing is the midfield line are basically on the halfway line at this stage and the wingers are pushed beyond it, which is perfect. The fullbacks aren't just having to defend the whole time. So just a few things, right? It's been a pretty even game and we're in it and that's what matters right move me back i don't feel comfortable over here we're not live okay back 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 to my regular surroundings as here we go then let's see i wish the whole th i wish this whole thing was a little bit more modular so you could kind of put everything exactly where you want it to be like the old fms a little bit as the kaku though on this side again got to be wary chelsea very good defensively and counter attacks that could be our downfall but no wingers for chelsea either right i think the game against tottenham will be very different as uh, will hughes into triple plays it into burn there's a few different runners burn goes along 
load. Drives inside chair. Pull it back. There's loads of players ready for it. There's Tom Lawrence. Oh, Tom Lawrence has scored. I don't know if it's going to count. Referee's got his arm up. Is that offside? Was the ball to chair and offside? That's what we've got to check. I don't think it was offside. We're going to find out. 48 minutes gone. The goal has been awarded. We lead at Stamford Bridge. Burn there. Just causing so much havoc. Chair with a great run. And Tom Lawrence, he's almost a free man. Look, so many players across that line. 5v4. And we find the spare man. It's a near post finish from Tom Lawrence. A derby lead away at Stamford Bridge. How can I not praise them after that? Great work from the boys. This is what you want to see. As, uh, wow, this is... Surprising is the word, isn't it, viewers? This is somewhat surprising, but we're happy enough with what's happening on the screen right now. As 72 minutes gone, are we in, at the point of thinking about making a change? I think we probably are. The obvious change for me is move chair over to where Zahar is and to bring Dengana on. Zahar's just not has not had the game there, has he? Not had his best, his best time, whereas a nice chair causing problems on the right side. Dean Garner, I'm hoping similar things. The midfield boy is looking pretty good. The booking to beat it is a bit of a concern, but so far standing strong. And Chelsea have succumbed to the overload in the middle, even with their three defenders, right? It's not a problem. The midfield have been overrun. Okay, this is where we've got to be careful. Nice, patient play from Rayo. We don't want to be giving the ball away in those positions. As Diang there, looking for something. Finds Chukwameka, a great run. The ball inside's there if he wants it. Nathan Byrne is the man making it. And this is where now we could have a problem. They're still playing. I just want to check. They're still playing the narrow system, aren't they? Uh, I can't quite see it. They are still playing the narrow system. Lukaku on that side. Got to get back. Burn. it's an early ball from Lukaku. Mason Mount. <sighs> It was too easy, if I'm being honest. It was a really nice ball out. Oh, you look at the time as well. This is so on me. We shouldn't be this offensive at this point in the game. I've just got carried away, viewers. As a manager, I guess that'll happen to you sometimes. We're going to get these boys back on support duties. I think there's a point there where it's Stanford Bridge. Like, you've got to remember who we are. I know we're leading, but this is worth it. Loftus Cheek's going to come on for Chukwameka as well. Back at the bridge for him. As, uh, oh, what a shame. What a shame. Because it feels like we deserved a bit more. Hopefully now, us going a little bit more defensive doesn't cost us. Maybe we're still going to be threatening in, a, in attacking areas. Who knows? But I think our, our, our wing back, sorry, won't be nearly as aggressive going forward. But again, still offering us a bit more width maybe now, which might end up being quite helpful. We can't lose it here as Burn on the charge into Shukwameka. Burn's going to have to do a job now and get back as Chilwell in that left back spot, racing forward, finds the Kaku. We're going to have to try and pin them in. The quality of Chelsea appears to be showing Yomi Pino's in not like this it's so unfair are they offside I don't think he is offside they're gonna check it I don't think he's off I think they're gonna give it the goal I think Chelsea are gonna lead and they are leading oh no this is so on me we so could have won this I guess I didn't even need to make him a complete. Why did I even why did I make him a complete for just make him a full back on support or something? Oh, viewers, well we're, we're time's ticking away. We probably have to make a change. Did I need to take Zahar off? I mean, that's the question. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do anything there. Right. And I, did, I was wing back. Actually, it wasn't complete wing back. Oh, we'll put it back on. Heartbreak is the word I'm gonna use because what a sadness. We could have we could have had it all rolling in the deep, and instead. We're going to come away from this with a free kick. Tom Lawrence, Diang. Oh my God, oh my word. That would have been something. Okay, but we're two one down. And you've got to be honest, chat. That's going to be the game. Chat, sorry viewers. I don't know what I've done. Oh, it's so on me. It's so on me. I didn't react. Chelsea clinical with what feels like two good chances. To ask the question, does it work? It does work. It just... Oh, if only, if only I'd been smarter. Do you know what? I, I, I give myself credit recently. That one, I'll take the blame for. Heavens. Okay, Chelsea win. Right, there's an international break, but I think the important thing is to play Tottenham. Another side battling around there. Uh, who is the manager right now? Mancini. So tactically, they play... 4-3-3. Three, three. That's what I want to try this against. I want to know how good it is against those wingers. So I'll see you after the international break for some more. Um, we don't really have players go away, so this is good for us as well. Okay, we return from international duty on Skaved. Actually, our Tottenham in the same position. Let's take a look. Uh, they're fine. Okay, not a problem for them. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is, again, a crucial game 
I feel like to be sprung on the counter attack by a Tottenham side here is very, very possible. So let's keep an eye on that then and see how we fare. I'm tempted to make a couple of changes. I think the last chair to play back in the center, you can see the connection those four boys have absolutely pivotal for me Dean Gunner comes back in on that right hand side then a little bit of extra pace probably on our own counter attack a little bit so let's see will we find ourselves a little bit of success in this game against Tottenham I hope so the home side we're physically looking pretty good right now tactically looking pretty spot on I'll, I'll be honest the international right there I've just spent the whole time beating myself about uh, beating myself up about the fact that one we didn't play with a lower tempo and try and see it out probably put a striker on to put a bit of pressure on not give them much time defensively um and equally just being smarter like ah oh, that's a game that i should and could have won and haven't and i've got caught up in commentating a youtube video and not paid enough attention to doing the right things and then a highlight comes and it's all a little bit too late right and then they get the second one and that felt somewhat inevitable right then here we are against tottenham who i'm expecting to be pretty good on the counter right son and hey on either side that seems scary but the midfield battle like we could well win as the Celso picks up a very early booking for Tottenham still playing for Tottenham as well Akanji and Dyer at the back Regulon's in there and Mr. Royale so again not a completely different side that you would maybe expect from Tottenham as the ball up towards Kane flicked on towards Son and uh, doesn't get anywhere near it and again our ball our, our ball retention amongst these five players here is absolutely crucial uh Bielic is Again, really, really important. Our fullbacks aren't out here waiting for balls to play things out wide. We see it quite narrow, and it's all about keeping the ball with simple passes. That, and again, passes hopefully you've got a lot of options for as well. As chair out towards Zahara, and now we can start to see players move forward. And it's up to the, the defensive lines of Tottenham to try and stop this. Burns in, right back, Nathan Byrne. Oh, it's a good chance, but Lloris scores. I've said it before, I would absolutely love to turn strikers, to sign some strikers that I could tune to play this role, or do I just work on the finishing of my fullbacks? I don't know. At half time, it's nil-nil. It's been a very, very patient, passive game so far. And um, yeah, neither side are really doing that much. The best performers for Tottenham are the defenders, uh, and equally our fullbacks doing pretty well too. Not that much of a surprise in the system these days. Delighted with the performance so far, though, or happy, I should say, not delighted. Because again, we're holding a, a far superior side. England captain in this side, don't forget. And we're so far looking all right. As uh, We'll just send them a bit of encouragement out there. Tottenham, not with a shot on target yet. Like, we've had the best of the game. Oh, Nathan Burns to go off. Now, the fact we've got George Bulldog makes me less nervous about it. Definitely a more complete player. Has great work rate. Finishing ability of eight. It's an upgrade. Okay, we're in then. Burns only got seven. So here we see how will George Bulldog do in the role. Again, he's got to learn it. A traditional fullback won't be used to playing an inverted wing back role. So they do have to try and get accustomed to it pretty quickly. And being confident in possession high up the pitch is one of the most crucial aspects. I've got to say, with 10 minutes to go, I absolutely could make some changes here. But we are giving Tottenham a horrible, horrible time. Chukameka's going to come off. Loftus Cheek's going to come on. I think we did, it again, did that against Chelsea. And it went really well for us, as we conceded almost immediately. As Raya launches the ball forwards and gives Ch uh, gives Tottenham, I should say, sorry, a chance to do something. If Loftus Cheek's the problem, then at least we know never to bring him on again. As Tottenham with a little bit of play in behind Joao Pedro. He's only got the keeper to beat. <sighs> You know, I don't make subs very often. And people go, why do, Why don't you make subs? It might be unrelated, viewers. But that's part of the reason why. We are 1-0 down to Tottenham. And the game has turned around. The game had put me in a strong position. And I decided to gamble in an attempt to win it. When well, I don't know, maybe I should be settling for a point and maybe Loftus Cheek hadn't come on at that point weirdly but Lukaku throwing on that side hopefully we can come back otherwise the story that we've had against Chelsea is the exact story we're going to experience against Tottenham nice from Bulldog though as oh a lovely ball Tom Lawrence De Jong oh it was so nice it was so perfect Tom Lawrence could have gone for it you might argue and did it and decided not to we're going to push him forward att attacking midfielder on that attack duty still just to give us a bit more of a focal point for the final few minutes but it's not looking very good again we could have made the wing back slightly wider but it's those overloads that we create ah oh, i feel like a newly promoted side in the premier league i can't believe we've not won the game well i'm not one though i can't believe we've lost the game 
what do you take from this viewers what do you make of it i want some i want i want 100 comments on this video is it a case and i know what people are going to say like play wing backs i feel like people are going to say it's obvious give yourself more width but we are suffocating teams right now who, who frankly don't seem to know what to do with us and if we'd have been sitting there on 17 points it wouldn't have been that surprising when you look at the games and the way that they've gone i suspect our chance creation stats having just played those two teams right three to five weeks with nathan, nathan burn that's not good at all i suspect we're still up there even after those two games chances created we're still very much top of that after eight matches 40 chances created and it's the standout thing right shots wise we're not having nearly as many but the chances we're having and the conversion rate we're having like we're going to be fine this season promote promote for promotion relegation doesn't seem particularly likely but i do have this oh this feeling of how far could we go we're currently ahead of united in the league table of course the next few games we've got then um there's a mix really of, of tricky ones and, and a couple of easy ones in there i say easy easier ones in there uh next time we meet then i think we'll, we'll maybe do like newcastle brighton or maybe we'll do a bit of a mixture maybe we'll do leicester arsenal right so leicester a decent side arsenal one of the top teams in the division at this stage they for those that played fm this year arsenal really grow into themselves so uh scary before that big tricky run that we have coming up after that and again we might come back for a bit of january as well if we've got some money to spend the board might be generous so i guess we'll see but i think around leicester arsenal might be wise and obviously you'll see how we get on in those fixtures there that home game to Liverpool looks like quite good fun. But I'll uh, update you on that the next time. If you enjoyed today, do leave a like on it. Want to see some more? Make sure you are subscribed to this. As I look forward to reading your comments today of all days. Right, take care, everybody. See you soon. Goodbye. So close, but so far.